Hello, my name is Alex, and uh, this video I'm going to show how to draw a dotted line using the Relib library and uh, C. I didn't find uh, in the Relib library a way to draw a dotted line. Uh, the Relib library doesn't have a function to draw a dotted line so I made my own um, so the function that I made I call it draw dotted line takes five arguments um, so it's this, it takes two starting arguments uh, for the line where the line will start uh, one is the start position on the x-axis then one is the starting position on the y-axis. This is where the line starts. Um, it takes two other arguments uh, for uh, the position where the line is going to end in in the screen. So it takes uh, end position on the x-axis and uh, end position on the y-axis. It also takes uh, the number of dots or points uh, that uh, you want on your line. So uh, quickly I'm going to show a little bit uh, what uh, uh, the function does. So I'm making a game called Brick Breaker and uh, I want it um, I wanted a way for the user to aim a ball so it can break the brakes on the direction of the brakes. So I want a dotted line into the direction where the ball is going to be launched. And this is uh, this is the function that I put in my program. Um, you can see it has a X and Y starting uh, position, and uh, the starting position is the same as the ball. The X on the X axis. Uh, on the y-axis, um, so this way over here, we can see that the ball is a little bit uh, the, the line position, the starting position of the line is a little bit above the ball. The end position of the line is the same on the x-axis as the beginning of the line. So we're going to have a straight line going up on the y-axis and over here, the end of the line on the y-axis um, is minus 50, so it's going to be higher, right? It's going to be from, it's going to go from the ball over here to 50 up this way up on the y-axis, and this is the number of dots. Let's change that number of dots to only five. So let's compile uh, this program and and we can see what I'm talking about. So here's your lines, this is the ball, and uh, we see that is a straight line, right? X and X over here. And it goes up about 50 uh, points on the Y axis. Um, and we have one, two, three, four, five dots. So Here's the five dots, and here are the five dots. So now I want to change a little bit. I want uh, the line uh, to go this way to the right of the ball. Keep it on top of the ball, like it's aiming. The user is going to aim uh, to the right. Um, but I want the line to be a little bit longer. Um, so let's see if I can also put put more, I want also to put more points on the line. Let's close the program. Let's go to, uh, let's go to our function over here and let's, let's add, so we want the line to lean to the right. So I'm going to add the end of the line a little bit to the right. So I'm going to add about uh, 25 uh, to the end position of the line on the x-axis. 
Also, the, I want the line a little bit be a little bit longer, so I'm gonna double this instead of I mean 50. I'm gonna make 100, and uh, I want the line not to have five dots, but I want the line to have uh, ten dots. So let's change that. Um, let's compile the program and. Uh, see what the changes uh, that I make uh, results are. So here you go, so this is my line, it's leaning about 20 uh, points over here from the beginning of the line, that is over here. And uh, we added 10 points, and here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 points. And the line is also longer, right? So. That's it, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Now, if you want uh, the code lines over here, interested to get these code lines, um, I'm gonna leave a link under my video to my GitHub account, uh, it's called Omega Pi, uh, to my repository called my Relib functions. Inside that repository, you can find the code line, uh, the code lines for the function. So that's it, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching and please like the video.